Okay, so um, this is Adobe Premiere. Um, when you open it, you click on New Project, and then you give it a title. Let's say Music. And then okay you just leave the settings as they are and then a timeline will be open for you as in the project space now this is a project that we're doing so when the timeline is open for you the very first thing okay now let me show you the interface we have the learning mode uh, the assembly the editing color effects audio most of the times what you will use is the editing the color and then audio but for now you might be using the um, editing and then audio okay the color too i'll show you how to go about it now you can import by double clicking here to import whatever you have or you can use file import and then you go to where your uh, recordings are so i'll be using these two recordings uh, these two this is the camera recording and this is the uh, free cam uh, recording as in the screen record so when you come here the, this is a timeline this is where you'll be doing the editing plus the effect controls the two so now you will create a timeline or a sequence by clicking on a new item and then sequence now based on the nature of uh, the work that you are doing you could use a standard screen any of them but uh, let's use the wide screen and then you click ok leave the settings as it is so there is a screen that you have you can pull this one down and you see that it's wide alright so um, this is my video you pull it to the timeline here and then you get this uh, message keep existing settings right. so that's how it is when you click on this and if the effect control was selected you see these buttons this is why you use in setting this up so the first thing you do is to either rotate it if your uh, video is looking somewhere else I'm, I rotated it to 90 and then the scaling is either it goes up or it goes down to fit and then use the positioning to either move it left or right so you know you are cool with uh, what you want that's the first step now the second step is to bring the screen record and put it on top of what you have now the one added down here is the audio so right select everything and click on synchronize make sure you select the audio you leave it and look at what is going to happen it will shift the screens and then make sure that uh, it starts from where all, all the sounds are synchronized now this button you can use it to expand it or you know when we expand it you see the recording now i want to cut this place so i use the blade shift and then i'm able to cut through the whole and then i go back to my select clear it now i can select and drag it to the beginning of the timeline so this is what i have now now i want uh, the screen recording to fit so I have to increase the size and then pull it upwards using the positioning okay so I have it now for the background here you can cover it by clicking on new, uh, a file new the legacy title it will open a window for you where you can edit you choose this box and then you draw um, it you can come here choose any color you want um, for it to be the background then when you finish you close it 
then you you drag it onto the timeline come to this side and pull it till it covers the whole so everywhere has that when you double click it it will open for you to pick the text to and type whatever title you want now because I'm typing and it is red I have to change the color of the uh, to white for it to become white or you come down here down here there are a lot of colors that you can choose yeah. and then it will show so basically that is the most difficult part or if you have um, a background you can import it and do the same thing for it now remember if what you are bringing in is bigger you either scale it up or you scale it down till it fits or you put move it up or down using this or positioning it to cover it when you finish you click on this you come to in it will select the beginning and then when you click on this it will bring it to the last end or let me see this part then you click on out so it will select to only that portion then you click on file export media now here when you click on the sequence you can change the name of the file that you are saving to then format there are a lot of formats i use this one and then medium bit rate will bring the size down or you can come to youtube have you seen 828 megabytes or let's say you can pick you know they are all formats depending on which one you are okay with you choose then you click on export so the audio yeah when you click on audio this will come when i start playing it hmm. i like muting the last one because it's a screen record then you know you leave it as it is if it is louder you bring the volume down yeah and then for color when you click on color and then you click inside you just click auto you know it will color correct it for you you don't need to do much and uh, basically that's it all right